Hey, what's up guys? I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this video, I'm going to show you how to expand and outline text to create shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump right into it. So I've got two words here. Well, I've got one word, rise, and I've written it in two different ways. The first way is just using whatever uh, font style. So just regular, or you could use a bold or anything like that. The second way, I actually have a stroke around it to make it a little more bold. So the first one is pretty darn easy. I can just go up to type down to create outlines. The shortcut key for that is shift command O or shift control O on a PC. Once I click that button, my entire shape is now outlined. So I cannot edit this text anymore. I've created shapes that look like text. So what I can do with this group now that we're all grouped together is right click it and ungroup it. That's also shift command G or shift control G. And now I have each one of these little pieces as shapes. This guy down here is a little bit more complicated. You see, I actually have a stroke of 20 points around him to make him a little bit more bold. If I just hit the create outlines button, which is in the quick actions panel, if you have the new properties panel, it doesn't really create the outline of what I'm visibly seeing. It just creates an outline around the text. So notice how I still have a stroke of 20 points around this text. So if I command or control Z to undo that, what I really need to do with this piece is expand it to create shapes. So I'm gonna go up to object, down to expand, and the first set of parameters it's gonna let me do is the object and the fill. So I'm gonna hit okay. We're not done yet. Notice how we still kind of have this same outline and we still have the same stroke. So really all that did was kind of get us back to where we were with the create outlines. From here, I need to keep this all selected, go back up to object and click expand again. This time it sees the fill and it sees the stroke. Last time it only saw the object because we had a piece of text. Now we just have some shapes with a stroke. We need to expand both the fill and the stroke this time. I'm going to hit OK. And now we have lots of lines inside of our text. Notice all these blue lines in here. I'll make this bigger so you can see it. OK, so from here, we're, we're still not to where we want to be because these are all separate little shapes. So the first thing I want to do, because this is an entire group, is right click it and ungroup it. So now all these letters are their own little groups so I can move them independent independently wow of each other now this letter what I need to do is basically merge all these separate shapes together so what I can do there is go up to the window drop down down to Pathfinder shift command F9 I'll never use that shortcut okay but once Pathfinder opens up all I want to do is make sure this group is selected this group of shapes and hit unite it's going to merge all those together. It's as easy as that. So I can go through each one of these and just unite these shapes. Now I have an actual shape that is the font plus the stroke now created, now merged all together and, uh, and, and creating one shape there. So that's how you can both outline your fonts and expand your fonts to create shapes depending on what you've done with the fonts and you can go beyond that if you've done some appearance stuff with it like created uh, extra strokes like uh, oh what are they called offset paths on the outside of that you can then expand everything so you have just shapes out of all of that if, if, if that's the expand button is basically going to get you to shapes no matter what and then if you're just using the text with a certain um, font style already built into that uh, that typeset Y'all, y'all are gonna get on me for 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 the words I'm using with the type and the font and all that stuff. But who cares? It's letters. If you're using the style on that, you can just hit the outline button, outline text button. All right, that's it, you guys. That's it. Uh, I hope that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's just end this video. I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe if you really want to. Adios. <laughs>